Number 49. The amino acid alanine has two isomers, alpha alanine and beta alanine. When equal masses of these two compounds are dissolved in equal amounts of solvent, the solution of alpha alanine freezes at the lowest temperature. Which form, either the alpha alanine or the beta alanine, has the larger equilibrium constant for the ionization? And then they kind of give us a general a form of the ionization, right? HX comes to equilibrium with H plus and X. Okay. So this is kind of coming back with the concept that was in a previous chapter uh, that has to do with freezing point depressions, right? You might recall that there was a formula of delta TF equals I times KF times M. Now, in this formula... We're talking about the freezing temperatures. That's what TF is. This is the freezing. We'll actually just say it's the change, right? The change in the freezing point because it's a delta, right? And it's linked to a KF value, which is just the freezing point dissociation constant value times the molality, right? But now here's an interesting thing. The I value is basically the number of, uh, we'll say, ions. Now, if we have alpha alanine and beta alanine, and they said that there was equal masses and they were dissolved in equal amounts of solvent, right? Molality is everything to do with the moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. So maybe I'll just put that there. Moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. But for the alpha alanine and the beta alanine, they said that it had equal masses and equal amounts of the solvent. So if I had equal amounts of the solute, that's the alpha alanine or the beta alanine, this doesn't matter. If I had equal amounts of the solvent, this doesn't matter. So the M has nothing to do with the freezing point difference. Since they're both alanines, the KF would basically be the same. They're both alanines, so that constant value would not be the same, or would not be different. But in terms of the difference between, you know, alpha alanine freezes at a lower temperature, that has everything to do with the I value, or the number of ions. Now remember that a freezing point can only go lower it could never go higher than the true freezing point. So for example, the freezing point of liquid water is zero degrees Celsius. You can never raise a freezing point. You can only lower it. So the greater change in this number going all the way down maybe to like a negative 10 or something, right, would have to do with the number of ions that is thrown in with the water right? That's kind of why we add salt to the roads. Salt, when it's snowing out, salt will lower the freezing point, and therefore it would take a lower temperature for the roads to freeze. That's why we add salt on the roads. So now, so let me just erase this. So now let's see. If alpha alanine, because that's what they said, they said alpha alanine had the greater, uh, had the lowest temperature, right? It had the lowest freezing temperature. That means that the change in the normal and the actual freezing temperature had to increase. So if the change increases, that means that the alpha alanine had a greater number of ions. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So in terms of alpha alanine and beta alanine, Alpha alanine has the higher number of ions present. That comes back to this idea. These are the ions, and this is either the alpha alanine or the beta alanine. So now we want to know what has the larger equilibrium constant. Remember, a K value has everything to do with products divided by reactants. Since these are ions, these are going to be aqueous. So those are going to be in the K formula. 
So this would basically be the concentration of H plus raised to the first because I just see a one here. And then the concentration of X minus, right? That's raised to the first because there was only one. This is a general idea. But now take that into consideration. If you have way more ions and these are the ions and this is increasing, what's going to happen to the K value? Yeah, it's a direct effect. That's going to increase as well. So which one had the larger equilibrium constant? Alpha alanine. Because just to you know, recap, and let me just box this off. Just to recap, they did say that alpha alanine had the lowest freezing temperature. That means that the change from the standard had to be way much more. The change had to be greater. And since this is in direct correlation with the I value, if this increases, the I increases, the number of ions increase. And if the number of ions increase for alpha alanine, that means that the K will increase because that's also in direct effect with each other. So that's how we came to alpha alanine and not the beta one. And there you go. All right, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.